gynecomastia or a men boobs one of the very common hormonal problem which men encounters and due to this problem many of the time they lose their confidence and they get depressed what is this gynecomastia what are the types of it what causes gynecomastia if you get this problem what are the signs and symptoms how do we manage it how do we treat it we will discuss about all of this in our today's video namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i am an endocrinologist hormone specialist a doctor from mumbai india now before we continue this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button there is a link if you click on that link this video will be played in hindi language for you अगर आप आज के इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे एक लिंक है जैसे ही उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टूडेज टॉपिक दैट्स अ गायनेकोमास्टर वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन हार्मोनल प्रॉब्लम इन मेन वॉट हैपन्स इन गायनेकोमास्टर इट्स बेसिकली अ इम बैलेंस ऑफ द हॉर्मोन imbalance of male hormone and a female hormone and when this imbalance happens gynecomastia condition develops is it something serious condition may not be or it can be also and for that you have to visit your nearby endocrinologist doctor who will help you out gynecomastia is basically a problem of the chest area and this happens only in men and this happens due to the imbalance of a male hormone testosterone or androgen and a female hormone like estrogen now before you understand a gynecomastia you must understand the normal physiology of the chest area and of the breast tissue see the breast tissue is basically made up of two component the first component is a gland itself that is a mammary gland who is actually going to produce milk and who is the active component the second component of the breast tissue is a fat or a fatty tissue both of these together makes a breast in a women so when men starts developing um, the breast enlargement that is what is gynecomastia and depending on what composition is high or low the gynecomastia is divided into two categories the first category is a true gynecomastia as the name suggests it is a true true means here the problem is that the person has a higher amount of the mammary gland or a glandular tissue fat component may may not be high The second kind type is a pseudo gynecomastia. Pseudo means false. It looks like a breast tissue, however, it is actually not a breast tissue, but rather high amount of a fat. So most of the gynecomastia which we refer in general belongs to the pseudo gynecomastia categories. So these are the two types of the gynecomastia. Now let's understand that. when you develop a gynecomastia what are the signs and symptoms you will have see gynecomastia most of the time is a very very visual appealing condition the moment a boy or a man changes their clothes and when they see themselves in mirror they can visually make out that their chest is not flat but it has a breast like an enlargement and that brings it to their attention and they visit to the nearby doctor but besides visual appealing it can be painful yes many times a person can have a pain sometimes this pain can be sudden or this pain can be for a long period of time there might be some swelling sometimes some people develop a very sensitivity in the nipple areas and even a friction of the clothing can also bring a discomfort so these are the pure uh, symptoms of the gynecomastia but very few people understand that this gynecomastia has a lot of deeper psychological impact the reason because of the gynecomastia many of the times the person loses their manhood their confidence 
and they fall into the depression. We have seen patients who are landed up into taking a depression medicine. They have split with their relationship just because they are feeling ashamed. Many of the time the other boys, they bully the person and it becomes a very very psychological upsetting situation. And that is the reason why it is very important to treat it. So these are the symptoms. Now certain common questions which is asked by patients when they come to me in the clinic. That doctor is a gynecomastia a serious condition? As I told you earlier it can be or it cannot be but it all depends on your individual medical case. Many people also believe in the impression that the gynecomastia is equal to a breast cancer and they get so scared that oh my god I have developed a breast cancer. Is it true? Answer is no. Gynecomastia and a male breast cancer is a two separate entity. Most of the time the person who have gynecomastia do not land up into a breast cancer. So this reassurance is very very important. When do you have to worry about the gynecomastia? Mainly if the gynecomastia is very very sudden, rapidly developing. Or if your gynecomastia suddenly becomes very very painful, then it is of a concern. If the gynecomastia is there only on one side, of your body then it is a problem if you develop any kind of a discharge from your nipples again it could be a worrisome so these are the points you need to keep in mind when you are having a gynecomastia condition is gynecomastia happens only in one side or both the sides answer is ideally situation it happens both the sides why because it is due to the hormonal imbalance and hormones are circulating inside your body and they go everywhere and that's the reason why most of the time gynecomastia is bilateral but it can be uneven in few people so that also point has to kept in mind all right so this is what we learned about the gynecomastia signs and symptoms and the commonly asked question now let's understand what causes the gynecomastia now when we talk about the causes these causes are actually divided into two categories first is a physiological cause what is a physiology physiology is nothing but a normal changes in our body so when you have a physiological gynecomastia ideal situation we do not have to treat it because these are the condition which comes and goes as the phase of the hormone shifting happens, gynecomastia can appear and as the phase goes away, the gynecomastia can also disappear. So the first physiological condition is the newborn. Yes, a just a newborn baby can also have a gynecomastia. Is it something to worry? No. Will it go on its own? Answer is yes. How long will it take? Might take few days to few weeks. Now why does it happen? See, when a newborn baby, it's a male baby, when that male baby was inside mother's uterus, mother's body who has an estrogen hormone used to get circulated and passed via the umbilical cord to a male child. And due to this estrogenic effect, the male child will have some amount of gynecomastia. But the moment the child is born, gradually this estrogen impact will go and the gynecomastia will also go away and need not to be treated. Second physiological condition is the puberty. Yes, puberty is a time when your body is undergoing through a massive transformation. There is a lot of rise and fall of our hormones. So during this time, if your body is having little less testosterone than estrogen, you might land up into a pubertal gynecomastia. And a pubertal gynecomastia is very very difficult because it impacts a child's psychology. Already when a child is developing secondary sexual characteristics, it is a very different for them to experience in their body. And suddenly when they find that they are developing a breast tissue, the boys get confused. Am I a boy or am I a girl? And this is the time when they go through a lot of emotional problem also. So this puberty gynecomastia is not to be worried. It happens due to the change of the hormones and you need not get tensed about it. 
but what to do if you would have lap of pubertal gynecomastia go visit nearby endocrinologist doctor they will definitely help you out it's found that by the time a boy is around 17 to 18 years of age the gynecomastia usually disappears but as i told you that this emotional impact is too much especially when the other child is bullying other person it leaves a lifelong impression so if you have a pubertal gynecomastia please don't worry take a expert help third physiological gynecomastia is a old age yes as you age the testosterone that is a male hormone starts declining and this fall of the testosterone causes the gynecomastia especially if the old person is a fat and obese the gynecomastia development can be more so these are the three hormone shift condition which causes the physiological gynecomastia now we will talk about the gynecomastia which is happening abnormally or pathologically in that the first condition is a obesity yes when you have a obesity your body has a lot of fat for your information let me tell you that fat can act like an endocrine gland and secrete hormone and the fat tissue itself secretes estrogen and this estrogen promotes the breast development and that is the reason why obese person usually have a gynecomastia to a larger extent besides obesity there are other hormonal condition like a hypogonadism now what is hypogonadism when your body does not have sufficient amount of testosterone hormone it's called as a hypogonadism and the moment testosterone falls down the imbalance of the hormone starts happening and that causes the gynecomastia similarly when you have a thyroid gland abnormality especially hyperthyroidism again you will end up into gynecomastia if you have other health conditions health conditions like a liver problem kidney problem then also you will have the gynecomastia we've seen patients undergoing a dialysis or a patient having a liver cirrhosis hepatitis developing gynecomastia similarly if you have any kind of a cancer especially cancers of the testes or adrenal gland which is located on top of your kidney or a pituitary gland which is located inside your brain if you have such abnormality in the cancers again you can have a gynecomastia so these are the certain medical conditions which can give you gynecomastia now we'll know certain more especially about the medications yes there are medicines which causes gynecomastia and many of the time many people consume this medicine for any other health problem but those medications can give you a side effect of a gynecomastia so what are those medications in that the first medication what we use is a anti androgen now as the name says anti means opposite and androgen means male hormone so these are the medications which works against the androgen that's a testosterone hormone now you must be wondering why will a doctor give a anti androgen medicine when any person has a prostate problem like prostate enlargement or a prostate cancer in that situation we want to suppress the testosterone hormone and when we give a anti androgenic medications like a spironolactone the problem can rise similarly there are anti androgen medicine like finasteride flutamide they can also give you the gynecomastia secondly many people take a anabolic steroids yes ideal scenario it should not be used but many boys take anabolic steroids to increase their muscle mass and when you take anabolic steroids again it can give you gynecomastia certain psychiatric medications medicines which is used to treat the depression medicines which is used to treat anxiety can give you gynecomastia certain heart medications like digoxin can give you gynecomastia certain digestive system medications like metoclopramide then very commonly used acidity medicine like simetidine all of that can also give you gynecomastia 
many patients who might have a HIV and if they are taking a medications for that again can have a gynecomastia because certain HIV medications have a estrogenic component. So these medicines can also give you gynecomastia. Certain lifestyle factors which can promote gynecomastia in that the very common is the alcohol. Yes, consumption of alcohol can also leave you a gynecomastia and also usage of any recreational drugs or medications can stimulate gynecomastia. So make a list of the medications which you are taking and if you are taking any of these medicine, try to speak to your doctor to find out any other alternative. So we saw the causes of the gynecomastia, that why it happens. It's not a very simple problem. It can be due to plenty many other health conditions also. Now once you have a gynecomastia, now next question is how do we manage it? So when we talk about the management, the first important point we need to discuss is about your detailed physical history. Yes, your doctor wants to know whether the gynecomastia has happened suddenly or it is a gradual onset. Is it on one side or is it on both the side? Is there any nipple discharge? Is it painful or not? Are you on any other medication? Do you have any other health condition? All of these questions will be asked to you to come to the conclusion. Your doctor might do your physical examination to find out what is your ideal weight what whether you are overweight or obese or not if a possible your doctor might also do your examination to find out whether do you have any testi testes or a prostate problem or not so again this depends on a case to case and based on your case doctor might do any kind of a examination after examination and a physical history is done your doctor will ask you to do certain testing which is very very important Testing to know what is the level of your testosterone, level of your female hormone estrogen. We want to know whether your liver or kidney is work and, test and your thyroid is working right or not. We will also do your pituitary gland hormones like FSH and LH. So based on a case to case, your doctor might do few testing here and there and come to a conclusion. As I told you earlier in the symptoms that gynecomastia is itself is a very visually diagnosis but yes sometimes there can be sudden other hidden cause so it is very important to investigate thoroughly before we jump on to the treatment. Now when we talk about the treatment how do we manage it? So when we talk about the treatment first of all it's important to know the cause of the gynecomastia. If we know the cause of any health problem, the treatment becomes very very easy. If your gynecomastia is due to your body weight, we encourage you to lose weight. And the moment you lose weight, your gynecomastia will also reduce in size. If you are taking any medication, we might alter those and those side effects of those medicines will go away and you will be fine from the problem. Or if there is a more other serious situation, we have to treat it. If you have a, let's say, hypogonadism, we have to give you hormone replacement. If you have a thyroid imbalance, we have to treat that. So again, it depends on a cause to cause. But when we talk about the treatment for the gynecomastia per se, it falls into two categories. First is the medical management where we are going to take a help of a medication, tablets. And the second is a surgical management. Medical management takes time. You need to have patience for that. What happens when the patient walks inside the doctor's chamber, they are in the anxiety and they want quick, fast results. And quick and fast results will not come with the medications because it takes time. So patience is very, very important and you need to be reassured and counseled about it. And you have to overcome your fear of the problem that will it, will I land in a, a breast cancer or not. So those kind of a situations is need, may be needed. Sometimes some people also need a psychiatric counselling. As I told you earlier, it leaves a lifelong emotional impact. And that's a time our psychiatric help, our psychologist help will be very, very essential and helpful. Okay. So when we talk about the medical management, again the medical management, the medications will be effective in the earlier stage. If your gynecomastia is very late, it's there since long time, maybe years, 
it might be possible that it has become fibrotic and the medications may not give that desired results okay so what are the medications so all the medications which we are going to use they are mainly going to work on a estrogen hormone yes you remember that estrogen causes the breast tissue development so what do we need to do we need to reduce estrogen so moment estrogen is down the breast tissue development goes down so these medications are called as anti estrogenic medications in that we have a couple of medications the first is the clomiphene yes clomiphene is used uh, for the gynecomastia treatment and nearly 50% of the patient do develop a uh, some partial resolution and around 20% of the patient have also shown complete resolution of their gynecomastia but okay case to case second medicine is a tamoxifen yeah tamoxifen we mainly use for the pubertal gynecomastia or someone who has a very painful gynecomastia so we use tamoxifen third medicine is a denazol yes denazol is actually a type of a testosterone derivative and this works on your testes and it reduces the estrogen hormone production it also works on your pituitary gland and it reduces the fsh and lh hormone production so these are the three medications which we commonly use which medicine will be right for you will depend on your individual case i don't advise you to do any self medication visit your endocrinologist okay second type of the management is a surgical management where people want a fast result they don't want to wait or sometimes they have taken a medications they didn't give their good results or they were not effective or they develop lot of side effects and they don't want to continue so for various reason person may want to go to the cosmetic or a surgical treatment in surgical treatment we have a liposuction method which can be used nowadays we also have a lot of injections which dissolve the fat and these fat dissolving injections also give a quite good result but again it has to be done by the expert doctor so these are the management options which is available based on your case your doctor will decide all right so that's about the gynecomastia we learned about it please if you have this condition don't get disheartened take an expert help it is very very easily treatable condition after watching this video if you got some good useful information please click on the like button if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe so that you get more information and if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for write them in the comment box below i read and answer them as early as i can we will meet again with some new topic in future till then take care namaste